Are you looking for a low profile cooler, which is also quiet and doesn't look like a nuclear power plant on acid? Well, this Be Quiet Cooler may be the cooler for you. On the box, you can see a picture of the product on a black background. Doesn't really pop that well, to be honest, because it's black on black. It says it's a Pure Rock LP, extremely compact, quiet cooling. Obviously, it's from Be Quiet, and it's got a TDP of 100 watts. And on the back and the sides of the box, you've got multilingual information on there. You've also got a QR code as well, which will take you to the product where you can get more information as well as videos of how to install it. It says it's developed in Germany. You've also got your full specifications or technical data and stuff on the sides, which tells you which socket's compatible with. The basics is it'll work on any socket for, for Intel from 1155 and onwards, up including 1700 and AMD includes AMD 5 and AM4. So inside the box, you've got the usual plastics and foam. You've also got a manual here, four steps for the instructions of how to build it, either if you're using AMD or Intel, which is pretty good, as well as disposal form thing there, which no one will probably ever read. You've got the cooler itself. Then you had two bags with different connections and each one well I say connections are basically the mounting brackets for it interesting thing is is the one for the AMD connections does well doesn't have anything written on there where the one for Intel does say it works on socket 17xx and socket 18xx as of yet socket 1800 has not been announced so that's an interesting thing it could potentially mean socket 15XX and they've just mistyped it, but who knows? Okay, let's have a look at the heatsink and fan. So first of all, it comes in the plastic tray because underneath the thermal paste is pre-applied. There's no mention of what thermal paste it is, if it's their TC1 thermal paste or if it's something else, who knows? But it is pre-applied. You can see the copper base there. And as you can see, the copper base is directly against the rest of the fins and everything like that. So they're leaving no room, they're maximizing the amount of basically room they've got to put all these fins in. You can't really see, but there is three heat pipes inside there. It's all black. You can actually see through the actual fins there. You can see the fan on the other side and obviously vice versa. You can just about see the heat pipes going up and down. So that it looks like they're just going straight across like that. So three of them to help obviously distribute the heat between all the fins so it can cool as good as it can. The fan itself is 92 millimeters, so that in between size, but again, it's one of the be quiet ones. It should be pretty quiet. They're quoting 30 decibels, but it gives you a rough idea. It's nice and square. So they're maximizing basically the amount of room that you would have to put this in. One thing about mounting, it's slightly different than most products with mounting. The, uh, usually you put the mounting system on here, then screw it into the motherboard and maybe a back plate on the back of the motherboard. But with this, you actually put on the mounting brackets onto the cooler and then screw from the backside of the motherboard into that. And then that allows it to stay on the actual machine. Bear in mind, that might be slightly different depending on obviously the type of motherboard and the socket you're using, but that's the basics to it. Now, if you compare it to an Intel stock cooler, well, an Intel stock cooler, what you would get with a modern Intel CPU, roughly an i5, then this is what they look like next to each other. So roughly same sort of physical size, but obviously the Intel cooler is more rounded, but this is square. So that's using all its basically capability of filling all the space. So it's not wasting any space where the Intel one you can see a lot of the heat sinks are going a lot higher, but they are very spread out. And a lot of it is just plastic, in all honesty, rather than actual heat sinks. It looks better than it actually is. The fans do look slow, roughly around about the same, but the central part of the Intel fan is a lot bigger compared to the Be Quiet one, which means that obviously more airflow is going to get through on this one. So it'd be interesting to test them against each other to see if there is much of a difference between the Intel cooler, which is renowned to be not the best, and obviously a similar size cooler from the likes of Be Quiet. So down to testing, we're doing a comparison against three CPU coolers altogether, an Intel stock cooler you'd normally get with an Intel i5 processor, or at least a modern one, because we're testing it on a 12400 processor, so we're going to compare them to see which is the best. We've also got an Arctic Alpine 17 
LP, which is again a new cooler and it's low profile as well, as well as obviously this Pure Rock LP from Be Quiet as well, just to see obviously how they all perform. Bear in mind the Arctic cooler is slightly cheaper or quite a bit cheaper to be honest with you, but it gives you a comparison of what you're going to get depending on what you pay compared to a stock cooler. Otherwise, all testing is done on the same machine. Only difference is, is the cooler and the thermal paste, bear in mind we're using the thermal paste which came with the coolers, so there's no uh, comparison with using the same paste for example. Okay, so in this first test we're checking the average temperature over 30 minutes running on an i5-12400 processor from Intel with the fan running at 50% speed. The temperature in the room is 21.5 degrees Celsius. We've got air conditioning heaters and the temperature is constantly monitored and kept the same. And as you can see here, the Intel stock cooler got 82 degrees, the Be Quiet one got 39 so a huge difference in temperature there on this next test we do basically the same thing again but this time it's the maximum temperature the cpu got up to in that 30 minutes so as you can see here the intel stock cooler got 91 degrees celsius so pretty toasty where the be quiet got 54 degrees so it's a lot cooler even the arctic did better than the intel stock cooler coming in at 87 degrees celsius but still no way near the be quiet one be quiet one is basically well it's it's winning by a large margin now this test we check the average temperature with the fan running at 100 percent speed so the fan running flat out you can see here the intel stock cooler coming at 69 degrees the arctic alpine coming in a little bit better at 66 degrees but complete winner of this round at a 31 degrees Celsius, it's like, well, is, there's just no comparison. But again, as I said, there is a big price difference between the Be Quiet Cooler and the Arctic one. And again, same test again with the fan running at 100% speed, but this time we're checking the maximum temperature. As you can see here again, Intel Stock Cooler 76 degrees Celsius, the Arctic at 74, and the winner by a mile is the Be Quiet Pure Rock LP at 45 degrees celsius so completely winning in all these tests we've done again it was to be expected but you can see the difference you actually get if you spend a few quid on a decent cooler now the fan noise this is the noise above room decibel level of 37.4 decibels and this is with a fan set at 100 percent the intel stock cooler was six decibels above room the be quiet was actually nine decibels came out the loudest one but again this is when the fan is running at 100%. We did find that at 50%, uh, when the fan is running at 50% speed, that is, that the actual noise volume coming out of the fan is minimal and it didn't even make any difference when we checked to the actual decibel ratings and it was basically zero on the testing so it's only when you put the fan on full or it needs to work that extra bit more it will make a little bit more noise but saying that are you going to hear it over all the other fans in your machine inside a case and so forth probably barely but not much nothing where it's going to be like whining or anything like that it was still fairly quiet in all honesty not as quiet as the intel and the arctic coolers yes but again would you hear it over the rest of your machine otherwise if you're looking for a low profile cooler what's got performance then this is the cooler for you it's going to keep you nice and cool it's going to be fairly quiet especially if it's going to be running at around that 50 percent speed which which most fans generally do uh, or slower uh, most of the time unless you're really putting some load on it and if you do put some load it's able to cope a lot better than the other coolers in the test so i would highly recommend this cooler from be quiet so i hope you enjoyed this video and know i did why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here otherwise you can give us a thumbs up like subscribe comment below let us know what you think and we'll see you next time